Hi there, Save with Crypto here. Okay, so I'm back from Portugal, back in uh, the UK, just as Storm Kieran hits. And uh, God, it's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, for anyone in the, uh, well, let's say the south or the southwest of the UK, you know, oh, just be careful. Like, it's been like cars like swept into the sea and all sorts of weird stuff going on. Anyway, uh, back to uh, reality. Um, the Zoid pay, yeah, okay. There was um, there was an AMA with Edward and Adam last Friday. No, it wasn't. It was Monday, wasn't it? It was delayed, so it was actually Monday. Um, uh, in that, Edward talked about um, various things, you know, and sort of explained why everything was late. Uh, he did show us a card, a kind of credit card, debit card, uh, for Zoid Pay. But he did say that it, it hadn't been used or activated. So to me, it was just a card. Um, so a lot of the delays seem to be to do with like just waiting for stuff, you know, just waiting for various third parties to do their stuff. But what I don't understand is, meanwhile, is why don't they just fix some stuff? I mean, for a start, the super farm here that we had, I think it started in like April or May. Um, we're supposed to be able to stake an F NFT there, and you can't do it. You know, we've not been able to do that uh, for 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 months. Well, we've never been able to do it, um, which seems a bit rubbish. Um, meanwhile, over in the Wand Farm, I mean, mine's displaying ridiculous amounts. It says I've got um, two point two billion Wand, which is worth six hundred eighty six thousand two hundred and sixteen dollars be really nice if it was worth that i think it's worth a fraction of that unfortunately um so i'm actually going to withdraw the last large amount i staked i'm going to leave a little bit in there uh in fact i'm going to leave what shall i leave twenty three thousand zoid pay or more um so the one i'm going to withdraw is this one here which has got four hundred and seventy three thousand zoid pay in there so let's let's just have a look at the tiers again. So I get a certain percentage with twenty three, two two five. Okay, no, two two five isn't relevant. So I want to leave twenty three thousand Zoid Pay equivalent in there, which should get me up to three hundred percent APY. But obviously that's paid in wand, which we know nothing about. So let's just have a look how that works. So ten percent would be about sixteen point three LPs. So shall I say ten? We'll leave ten in there. So if we leave 10 in there, I'm going to withdraw uh, 153, let's say 153. So I'm going to withdraw 153 LP tokens there. Okay, so withdraw LP. Now, unfortunately, I think I've got a 10 day unbonding period to wait uh, before I can actually take the LP out and put it into somewhere else. I'm going to put it into the super farm, by the way even though we can't stake an NFT there. I'm just hoping they sort this stuff out. See, what I don't understand is why they're waiting for this other stuff. Why don't they just get on with all the stuff that needs fixing rather than saying, we'll do all that once the super app's out. The super app can't come out because they're waiting for third party stuff. So why not just get on with this? It's not helping Zoid pay. It's not helping the Zoid pay price. And uh, I don't know, to me, just kind of fixing these little things is probably a, you know, a better use of their time rather than just sitting around waiting i'm sure they're not sitting around waiting but you know what i mean well the thing is i really really want to like zoid pay i really do and it's just difficult right so i've got this unbond period oh okay that unbonds in seven days 23 hours and 59 minutes so seven days 23 hours that's nearly eight days and that will be next friday oh that's okay it's fairly easy to remember okay so that will then you know bump up my uh, super farm to you know a much more reasonable amount okay so before i go any further let's just have a quick look at what i've got in the way of liquid tokens in the x exchange so i've been kind of getting together wrapped bitcoin okay so i've actually got 164.45 dollars worth of wrapped bitcoin a little bit of zoid pay and uh, you know little bits of other stuff so let's see what i can get by doing the meta bonding and also claiming from the zoid pay platform i'm going to do the zoid pay f stuff first because i'm kind of already there aren't i so i'm going to harvest this six dollars here and i'm also going to harvest from the staking as well which is uh, this lot here 
Now I have actually got some Zoid Pay here that's actually completed its 12 month term. Um, so I think I'm actually going to take that out anyway. And then I think what I might want to do is to make some Zoid Pay eGold LP tokens and maybe bump up that super farm a little bit while I'm waiting for the unbond period with that other chunk as well. Okay, so that's what we're on now, $332 in liquid tokens. And let's do the meta bonding now. Actually, let's do the meta staking first. See what there is there. Uh, not a lot. Bit of UTK. Let's have that. Maybe this little bit of Zoid pay here. Okay, so so yeah, pretty much $338 there. So let's do the meta bonding. Okay, so that jumped up about nearly 30 bucks. Okay, well, I've not got much eagle there, so I'm just going to do a Quick claim on the Exportal app. There's about a quarter of an e-gold there, not a lot. Okay, so that's $9.44 worth there. Okay, it's a bit better. So I've got similar amounts of Zoid Pay and wrapped Bitcoin. So maybe if I turn the wrapped Bitcoin into e-gold. And I did that because Bitcoin's had a nice little pump over the last few days. So uh, that's kind of gone up a bit in value. So I may as well swap it into something I can use now. So maybe if I swap the UTK and then swap this bat and the cyber into eGold, maybe the Quowat and the SFIT as well. And everything else is worth less than a dollar, so we'll leave all that. Okay, not quite got enough eGold there, but it's not bad. So let's say let's do 5.5 .5 of eGold. So liquidity... So we'd pay e gold. So then we got that seventeen thousand four hundred ninety one Zoid pay. Okay, so let's add that liquidity. So if I go back to the Zoid pay platform now, and go to the super farm farms, super farm. Here you go. So stake more. So I'm going to stake that with no locking period, so I can choose what to do with it. Okay, so I should see this farm increase from 94.2 to something like 104 point something. There okay, you go, 104.48. Now, I'm just going to say here that um, I'm not sort of giving up on staking Zoid Pay in, in the shopping pool. Uh, the point being is that when I put it in there, I'm locking it up for a year. In fact, some of the Zoid Pay in there is actually locked for two years, so I could get the little star there for the gold tier pool. So I'm certainly very committed to the shopping pool, but at the same time, uh, I want to have the proceeds from the super farm available on a daily basis if I need them, uh, in case I want to do stuff with it. And at the moment, I think the super farm is probably the best bet. But as I say, I really do wish we could actually stake an NFT. I might send Edward a message and nag him to get it done, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Okay, so there it is. Uh, there is the super farm earning Zoid pay. I'll probably finish this video now because uh, I think I'll do another one tomorrow on Friday when I do the claiming of the XMAX because I know uh, some people have got a little bit confused about XMAX and energy. Not bloody surprised either, really. This is the most complicated decks. Well, not this one, but uh, that one. It's the most complicated decks I've ever seen in my life. Uh, it is going to get easier, apparently. Version 3 is going to be simpler and all this kind of providing liquidity and all that will a lot of it will be automated so i don't know if that's going to be a good or a bad thing i kind of think now i've got used to it after a year of having it um i probably don't want to change it but you know resisting change is never a good thing is it so any comments about that please leave them down below while you're down there please give the video a like and make sure you subscribe to make sure you've got the notification set on all and above all tell your friends